Hey everyone, today I want to introduce tools that can be an alternative for Roam. Recently, Roam closed its gate to new users due to its server issue. And now, if you want to use Roam, you will be put on their waiting list. Also, Roam announced their pricing plan, which is going to be around $15 a month. I think that's a fair price, and I'd pay even more, but some people are finding it a little expensive. This video is for those people who want to find a similar tool, maybe because they are in the waiting list or don't want to pay $15 a month. So the first alternative tool for Roam is Obsidian. This is actually my most favorite Roam alternative because its user interface is clean and simple, and it has Roam-like functions such as bi-directional linking and graph view. This graph view is actually beautiful. It highlights the connections between nodes, so it's easy to understand how your ideas are linked. The biggest difference between Roam and Obsidian is that Roam stores all of your nodes in a cloud, whereas your nodes are stored locally in Obsidian. That means you don't have to worry about losing access to your nodes in a cloud when it shuts down. But that also means you might lose all of your nodes when your laptop breaks. If you're interested, you can download Obsidian by requesting an early access, and soon you will receive an email from them. The second alternative is Stroll. Stroll is a completely free open source alternative for Roam. You can easily create a new node and use bi-directional links to connect your ideas. Also, Stroll has a sidebar function, which is absolutely important for me. Just like in Obsidian, all of your nodes are stored locally, so you don't have to worry about privacy issues and losing your nodes in a server. But the most amazing thing about Stroll is that there are so many plugins you can use to customize it to your taste. You can add functions like mind mapping and to-do list. If you want to try it, you can download from the link in the description. The third option is Remnoid. I introduced this note staking app before in one of my videos, but it's getting better and better every month. Essentially, Remnoid has almost identical features of Roam. You have daily notes, you can make bi-directional links, and you can insert pictures, videos, and stuff. But the big difference is that Remnoid has its own built-in space repetition function. So, for example, if you want to remember something, you can just type it with a column and the answer to the question. Then Remnoid will automatically create a flashcard for you. So Remnoid might be perfect for students who have to memorize lots of stuff. The final option is Ample Node. I discovered this app like two days ago, so I don't know much about it. It appears similar to Roam in a way that you can make bi-directional links, but you can't see references like in Roam, which makes it much less useful. But cool things about Ample Node is that you can make a footnote. That is, you can just click a word and a note pops up. I really like this function because you don't have to move across multiple pages. Also, another cool thing about Ample Node is that it has a much better task management system than Roam. In Roam, you can create only simple tasks, but Ample Node lets you make repeating tasks, set priority, and estimate the duration, which I think is very useful. And the price is about $5 to $10 a month. So if you're looking for a bit cheaper note-taking and task management app, Ample Node might be perfect for you. All right, those are the tools I think can be an alternative for Roam. Hope you found a tool you want to try. Thanks for watching. Bye.